Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is February the 7th, 2021. So um, today we're going to be planting some marigolds. Um, these are the Parks Whopper Yellow, and I also have uh, the Park Whoppers Orange. And um, we're going to be doing this from seed starting the whole way to when these start flowering. So all of that's going to be in this video. Now, um, marigold seeds germinate best at about 70 to 75 degrees, and they germinate in about 7 to 14 days. So uh, you can see here what marigold seeds look like here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the seed, and some of these seeds will look a little different. Um, some of them, hold on a moment here, have a top on the seed like this. Now this one here is a marigold big duck. But um, apparently, on these seeds here, they have removed um, the top from it. So we're just going to take the seed and we're just going to plant it in here. There you go. Now another way that you can plant these is, get the seed here. You can just take your seed and, whoops, just wants to slip out of my hand there. And you can just push the seed into the soil. Like that. And there's just like a little tip sticking up there. So that's two different ways you can plant those. That's my favorite method, just take the seed and push it down in because that's like the easiest way that I found or you can cover them the way I did the first one. So I'm going to get the rest of these planted here and then uh, we're going to come back and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more. So we'll be back. And um, something I want to tell you is about marigold seeds. Um, if your marigold seeds are not any good, uh, they're going to be really flimsy. Um, whoops, hold on here, my thing's trying to fall down through. There we go. Your marigold seeds are going to be really flimsy. This one here, it's not flimsy. Um, I can put my nail on it here and it's not bending. So this here is a good seed. And you can see the orange seeds here are much, much larger than... Um, what the yellow seeds were. And you will see that sometimes with different varieties. The seeds will be like different sizes. So um, when I've seen this, I just wanted to tell you, is, and uh, just can make a note of that, that uh, the orange marigold seeds are bigger than uh, the yellow ones for the Park Whopper series. So I'm just getting the orange finished up here. Alright, so um, I did a total here of 16 seeds, and uh, I did 8 of the orange, and I did 8 of the yellow. So I might plant some more of these, not sure yet, but um, I'm going to put these on the floor. My floor is heated, and uh, I'm going to be using that as uh, my heat germination mat. And as soon as these start sprouting, I will come back and show them to you. So we'll be back. Oh, I am going to get these labeled. Um, I am going to label them. Now, um, sometimes what you will notice with uh, the different colors in um, your flowers is that one might be more vigorously grower, uh, more vigorous grower than another one. Um, that does happen sometimes. 
So um, I'm curious to see if these are going to be like that, being that the orange seeds were larger than the yellow. And when I put these on the heated floor, I'm going to put a loose covering over them. Um, I don't want a tight covering over them because your seeds need oxygen to germinate. So um, I want to make sure, you know, that they have the oxygen that they need and that they don't get too hot. So um, I don't put my coverings on tight. And it can also help prevent mold on your seed starting mix surface. Okay, so today is February the 10th, 2021. And um, on the 9th, my Marigold Park Whopper seeds started germinating. So um, we have uh, an orange and uh, we have some yellow ones. So uh, I took these out of the little containers off the floor and uh, I put them up here on the shelf. So um, when these start getting their true leaves, they're going to start getting fed with a uh, fourth a teaspoon of miracle Grow all-purpose plant food to one gallon of water and they will get fed one time a week with that mixture. Now you never want to feed a dry plant um, no matter what kind of seedling you're feeding you just want to always make sure that your seed starting mix is nice and moist before you feed it so that you don't burn the root system. Now um, I do still have more of these germinating so um, some are still on the floor down here in the little container there you can see I don't have the lid on tight so um, I'm really looking forward to getting to see these bloom and um... okay so today is May the 1st 2021 and uh, this is one of my Marigold's Park Whoppers this is the orange one here and I started these on February the 7th and they started germinating on February the 9th. So, um, this flower is not even fully opened yet. It still has more in the center to open. But look how big this thing is. I want to come out when it's fully opened. And I'll add more to this video with um, a ruler or tape measure. And just show you how huge this thing is. So, um, so far from what I'm seeing from this variety, it seems to be a very heavy branching plant for blooming. I love the blooms on it. These blooms are humongous. I've never seen a marigold bloom this large before. And you can see they don't start out that big. They start out smaller. But as they open and as they mature, they start getting larger. And this is growing in a larger four inch container. So these were started in, um, they were started in cell packs and then they were transplanted. They were transplanted March the 12th. So um, I'm hoping that the yellow ones uh, bloom like these do. And I know they come in gold, but I didn't get that color. They were sold out. So when this fully opens, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how large this actually is. As you can see here, these are still opening in the center in here. But um, beautiful like ruffled petals in a way. I love the design and the petals of these and I love that the flowers are so large. I want to show you over here. This is another one over here and you can kind of see here how the plant is starting to um, branch off there and uh, it's coming up with multiple blooms here. So um, this one here is just starting to open. So uh, it's pretty small still and this was the first year that I ever grew this one so I wasn't exactly sure uh, what to expect from it. But so far from what I'm seeing, um, I'm very, very pleased. Okay, so today is May the 11th, 2021. And you can see here this marigold did fully open here. And you can see what the rest of them here look like. Now these were these real small ones when I first showed them to you. And I said they were going to get bigger. And they did. So um, we're going to get this one here measured and see how large it is. So this is about 
I'm gonna say four and a half inches across because there's some um, down at the bottom some of the petals are down at the bottom and it's about let's see here I'd say a little over three inches tall once you get all the ruffles up in through here so that's a pretty good size marigold there and these were fed one time a week with a bloom boost and uh, they did get a little bit of a sea magic now if you have these in a smaller container they are going to be the blooms are going to be a little smaller until you get them into that larger container the, these here are in larger four inch containers now um, you do want to pick them before they're completely open because um, you can get a little bit of some browning here on the petals but um, I left this one go because I just wanted to see how large it would actually get and I'm very very impressed with how large this uh, marigold is producing the blooms um, I'm really looking forward to seeing the yellow bloom for me um, like I said it does have a gold color I didn't try that one they were out of the seeds at the time so as these continue to grow, um, I'm going to be coming back with more videos. As soon as the danger of frost is passed, I will be transplanting these outside. And I probably am going to keep some in the greenhouse here just to uh, see how well they do in the greenhouse. Now, uh, now um, if you're growing your plants indoors under lights, you want to make sure you harden your plants off to the outdoor growing conditions before you just plant them outside. I do have videos on my channel for how to do that. Okay, so um, because I'm going to be using these for bouquets, and this would make a beautiful like center flower in uh, a larger arrangement, or even if you did kind of a smaller arrangement, just make sure that you have everything well balanced so that nothing falls over. When I cut this, I want to cut it like right about here, um, depending on what size stem you need. Because what's going to happen is, is this plant here is going to um, branch out. It's already branching out here, but it's going to continue to branch out on these sides here. So I um, want to cut it like right about here when I take my, uh, when I cut this for my bouquets. Can you move that leaf so they can Yeah, let me move this leaf here. Okay. So right about here is where I'd cut mine at. And then it's all going to branch out. Um, and you can see, you know, you're going to lose some of these, like this here would look neat in, um, the arrangement. It's not open yet, but it's still going to give like a texture and a color. Um, if you wanted to let the foliage on, you could, if you wanted to take some of it off, you could. Now definitely if your any of your foliage is going to be underwater, you definitely want to take that off so, um, you don't get, uh, like a fungus or bacteria growing in your water from the foliage decaying. But, um, that's how... When I cut these, I'm going to cut them. Like this one here, it's not fully opened yet, but um, I could cut this one here for a bouquet right now and um, it would still be beautiful in it. So um, when you cut them for bouquets, you don't want them fully open. Like I said with this one here, I left it fully open because I wanted to see how large it got. But um, for your bouquets, you don't want them 100% open when you cut it. And I have a video on my channel that I did for um, harvesting some different flowers for bouquets and stuff. You can check that out on there and uh, I put a bouquet together at the very end of that video. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button on times I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!